Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, new video. So in this video we are going to discuss the final and the last theorem of this module and very important theorem fixed question for 7 to 8 marks the proof uh, the proof part here it is very important they would be asking this question for sure that is statement plus proof this question is repeated in mostly all the question paper model papers previous year two three year previous question papers all of them backlog question papers this question is repeated and fixed question so please share this video this is a fixed question so i want you all to like this video first then share this video to a huge number this video specifically because in this video i am not going to cover any problems and all only this proof part i am going to cover it the whole notes i am just i am not going to provide this note separately I am just going to show you in this video, scroll it down, each step I am going to try to explain it to you step by step. Please take it down because if you see the video, take it down, you would be understanding the theorem very well. So that's why watch this video till the end, share this particular video and tell them that this question is fixed, it would be coming for 7 to 8 marks. Okay. So please keep this in mind before studying this theorem that this is a fixed question. So. Let us start with this theorem now. The name of the theorem is maximum power transfer theorem. The name only says that power is transferred in the circuit. That is we will be having one simple R1 complex circuit. In this case for proof part here they have considered one complex valued circuits where two of the impedances they have considered two complex values because the proof part consists of the complex terms. So that's why it is very critical and very difficult. But I've written all the steps here in a detailed way. So when you see my notes, you would be understanding it. So now first uh, write the statement part. The statement should be as it is. I've written it here in double quotes. You cannot be changing and writing it in your own words because you won't be getting marks. Whatever I've written here, this is the copy of textbook which I've written. So this we should be not be touching any words. Uh, you should not be playing with words in this. Whatever it is written here, that only okay. This is only five lines. You can buy at it and go. Okay, that is in an active network, maximum power transfer to the load takes place when the load impedance is the complex conjugate of an equivalent impedance of the network, as viewed from the terminals of the load. That is here they mentioned. Maximum power transfer to the load takes place when the load impedance in this case we can consider R L is the complex conjugate of an equivalent impedance that is we can consider the equivalent impedance as R. So this we should be proving in this theorem that is R is equal to R L using one complex circuit with the complex values as viewed from the terminals of the load as views viewed from the terminals that is A and B as viewed from the terminals of the load we should be getting the condition R equal to RL that is the complex conjugate of the circuit. Okay, home this statement part is clear. So now let's get to the proof part. Let the given circuit be replaced by its Thevenin's equivalent across the load terminals as shown. Okay, so this is the Thevenin's equivalent where Thevenin voltage they have given here. Along with that they have given one Z that is R plus JX one complex value and they have given one load impedance that is equal to RL plus JXL. Now let Z equivalent be equal to R plus JX ohm and ZL be equal to RL plus JXL ohm. Now in order to find the current through this circuit we should be getting I is equal to V by R right. We have the value of V that is VTH divided by these two are in series here if we uh, don't consider these two terminals A and B if you not, uh, not consider those two if you can if you consider no, nothing here that is you should not be considering the terminals then we can say that these two are in series right. So now add these two R plus JX plus RL plus JXL. Okay. So I is equal to VTH divided by R plus RL. And here in these two terms, take the J that is the complex term, take it outside. We would be left out with only X plus XL. Okay. So now for R plus JXL, right? R plus JXL is there, right? That is equal to square root of R square plus XL square. Okay. That is, I've just taken the magnitude part of this R plus JXL. If you want, you can note it down. So like this, you have got one equation, put it, put it in the box and uh, name it as one, some equation one or two. Now the power delivered to the load is, that is power delivered to the load, that is PL. That is equal to I square RL. Since we have got one I equation here, we know that the power equation 
when the current is in the picture it is i square r and this is the load resistance rl okay so pl is equal to we can even write it as vth square into rl divided by this part here the denominator part that is i square i have written it as v square by r square in this case that's it i square i have replaced it by v square by r square that is vth square divided by this square that is if you take the square here r plus rl the whole square plus x plus xl the whole square because this if you take this j square here what we would be getting j square is equal to j is equal to square root of minus 1 so j square is equal to minus 1 right so that's why that would be getting eliminated then we would be left with square root of r plus rl the whole square plus x plus xl the whole square it's a whole square okay since we have square root and square okay so that's why then what the square root and square would be getting cancelled we would be left with pl is equal to vth square rl divided by r plus rl whole square plus x plus xl whole square okay like this we got one equation of pl here rl and xl both are variables and are to be decided such that the power is maximum okay in this case these two are variables okay next part is hence according to the maxima theorem we can write that for the maximum power transfer with respect to the variable xl and fixed rl that is do pl that is the partial derivative would be coming in the in the picture here so that's why i have told you this is very complicated you should be writing each and every step very correctly that is this condition you should be applying that is do pl that is the partial derivative of uh, load power divided by the load impedance that is do pl by do xl is equal to zero now do by do xl take it common and pl whatever we have just written here that only substitute it here okay that is vth square rl divided by r plus rl whole square plus x plus xl whole square equal to zero now apply do u by do v condition that is a u by v rule apply that is v u dash minus u v dash divided by v square apply that condition here what we would be getting is 0 minus vth square rl into 2 times x plus xl that is uh, why here it is 0 because uh, in the numerator part here v into u dash that is numerator part as uh, sorry denominator part as it is i have written it here first then the uh, de derivation of this uh, numerator so here if we take its derivative this whole thing is a constant here because rl is a constant and vth also is a constant it has fixed values so that's why the derivative of this would be zero so that's why here we would be getting zero and denominate uh, this numerator and the differentiation of the denominator part that is r plus rl the whole square plus x plus xl the whole square that is this would be zero and x plus xl the whole square if you take its derivative to be 2 times x plus xl right divided by the denominator square okay while we solve this you would be getting this part here if you solve this uh, mathematically i have just written the solved part here that is minus 2 into vth square rl into x plus xl okay that is equal to 0 why because if we bring this whole term to here and multiply this with 0 this would be equal to 0 right we would be left with only this part okay so that's why i have written it here to satisfy the above equation we take x plus xl equal to 0 therefore we can say that xl is equal to minus x right so what would be happening now if we take x plus xl equal to 0 xl would be equal to minus x so x and xl minus x this would be equal to 0 so if you to satisfy this equation that is in order to make this whole term equal to 0 this is the condition which we should be making that is xl should be equal to minus x okay thus the load reactance must be same in magnitude of the reactants of uh, equivalent uh, impedance but opposite in sign okay that is here we can see that we have opposite signs here similarly the power transfer would be maximum with respect to the variable rl and fixed xl when we apply this condition that is do pl divided by do rl is equal to zero now do by do rl take it common here and substitute the value of pl here again the same thing apply u by v rule again the same thing here i have written it here okay 
copy this equal to zero. This whole term, if you multiply it to this, this term would be vanishing. That would be equal to zero. We would be left with only the numerator part. Okay, r plus r l the whole square plus x plus x l the whole square into v t h square, and this like this we would be left. And also we have got with the condition that x l is equal to minus x, right? That we should be substituting in this equation now. That is. This part would be completely becoming zero. That is, this whole part would be zero because x and x l is minus x, so x minus x is zero. Zero into anything is zero. So this whole term would be getting vanished here. We would be left with r plus r l the whole square minus v t h square r uh, v t h square r l two times r plus r l equal to zero. Right. Now in this case we can take v t h square r plus r l minus v t h square. Here we have a v t h square, right? Minus v t h square r l into two times r plus r l equal to zero. Now in these two terms, v t h square is common. Take it outside, right? The remaining terms r plus r l the whole square minus two r l into r plus r l. So if we take this v t h square to the other side, that would be equal to zero because zero divided by this would be zero. We would be left with this term here, that is r plus r l the whole square. Apply a plus b formula, that is a plus b whole square. That is a square plus b square plus 2ab. That only I have applied here. R square plus RL square plus 2 times R RL. 2 R RL. Then we have multiply this 2 RL in these two terms. That is minus 2 R RL minus 2 RL the whole square equal to zero. 2 R RL 2 R RL will be getting answer. One is plus, one is minus. We would be left with R square. Then R RL square minus 2 RL square. That is equal to minus RL square. R square minus R L square equal to zero. R square equal to R L square. Both the squares would be getting cancelled. We would be left with R equal to R L, or which I have already told here in the beginning. We need to prove R equal to R L in this case. Okay. So this is the according to the statement. This whole thing is proved here. Hope this is clear. Thus, the resistance of the load must be the same as that of the equivalent impedance of the network according to the maximum power transfer. Then only the maximum power is transfer whenever this condition is satisfied. That is R equal to R L. Thus, when Z L is complex conjugate of Z equivalent, the power transfer to the load is maximum given by P max. Whenever the Z L is the complex conjugate of Z equal, that is P max is equal to I square R L. P max is equal to I square. I substitute it as V square by R square. In this case, it is V T H square divided by two R L. Okay, the whole square into R L. So I solve this V T H square R L divided by four R L square. One R L would be getting cancelled. We would be left with maximum power. Maximum power equation is V T H square divided by four R L. Okay, so this is the complete proof part along with the statement of maximum power transfer. Hope this is clear. I've tried to explain it as neatly as possible. So that's all for this session guys like this video share this channel to a huge number this theorem is very important confirm question for 8 marks okay share this video to a huge number guys thank you